Good morning, guys. It's about 4.30 or 5 a.m. I haven't done a day off log in a long time, so I thought I would do one, show you uh, the boring life I am leading right now. I'm on sort of a crazy schedule with the dogs. I fed and walked them at about 4 a.m. because I feed them 4 a.m., 4 p.m. So usually I feed them, I walk them, and then we all go back to sleep. So here we are, it's like 5 a.m., and we're going back to sleep. I'm gonna go back to sleep and I've been eating really clean for a while and I'm dreaming about a McDonald's breakfast so let's go back to sleep for a couple hours and then maybe we'll go to McDonald's for breakfast right we can walk down there all right good morning it's 7 30 I love those couple extra hours of sleep in the morning so I was about to have my first cup of coffee and before I go out I always check recently I've been checking my blood sugar this is a little tab you put it in the machine So now I'm gonna take this, little puncher, I'm gonna punch a little blood on my finger. Don't worry, I'm not even gonna show it in the video. Get a little blood, do this. All right, what does it say? What's the number? 97. 97 is very good. I like to have my blood sugar between 70 and 100 when I wake up in the morning and I'm fasted. I have to go on an extreme diet to get my blood sugar down to 70. But I have like normal health parameters. I'm not hyper or hypoglycemic. So that means my blood sugar doesn't really go below 70, doesn't go above 160 after meals. But as long as I'm below 100 when I wake up, that's a really good sign that I'm not leaning towards being pre-diabetic. Let's drink our coffee and go to McDonald's. I changed the needle. It's, it's actually a brand new needle. Just oh, yeah, you know. I forgot to ask you. Yeah, so you don't have to do any worry about cleaning it. So, here we go. Yeah, no, you're fine. You're fine. It's normal. Totally normal withdrawal. Oh, this is exciting. That's Sarah's blood sugar. Sarah's blood sugar. Yeah, put it in your mouth now. That's why you're not fat. Is 93. 93 is great. Know. That means that you, whatever you ate and processed, whatever you might have ate last night, uh, you processed it, like it went into your blood, your muscles used it, and it's not floating around in your blood. 90, I woke up at 97 today, and I've been on a diet for, I didn't have drunk yesterday either. No. But I went to sleep fantasizing about McDonald's. You want to go? I'll take you there. No, we're going to walk. We're going to walk. I hope I didn't spend too much time working with Sarah. I'm not really sure what time McDonald's serves breakfast till it's already like 930. But uh, that was cool. No wonder why Sarah looks so good. She's got a low fasted blood sugar that's what everybody wants she had a 93 mine was 97 i've been four or five days without any processed food and i went to sleep craving mcdonald's so i'm gonna go get mcdonald's fuck it let's go this is why i don't own a car morning traffic <laughs> gas prices seem somewhat stabilized here we are at six dollars and 20 cents for the best now who's the zombie look at me Rah, zombie sorry buddy here you go go ahead i got you can i get a deluxe breakfast can i get a um an additional sausage mcmuffin with no cheese and orange juice thank you I can't believe I just spent $15 at McDonald's. I think it's wrong, but I want to sit down and look at the receipt. Yeah, this is why I stopped eating out. I mean, listen to this fucking receipt. The deluxe breakfast is $6.20, but it no longer comes with orange juice, so $3 more for the orange juice. Order one sausage egg McMuffin, and it's $4.39. I just spent $15 on McDonald's breakfast. Fuck. $4.39 for this fucking piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was fucking insane, that fucking $15 price point. But regardless, uh, the only plans I have for today is to make like a visual or a short video 
of the uh, Mukuta 10 that I got delivered. I figure I can do that probably by myself, by just one arming the scooter downstairs. So uh, probably next thing we're gonna work on is uh, we're gonna get home, we're gonna relax, and then we're gonna start trying to make this, uh, one, this short video for Mukuta. A little Hollywood Boulevard action for you. This is where I usually meet with the group ride. It's very quiet. There's obviously like a big event. When they have like big events like this, they, you know, they set up the wall so the zombies can't get in. The zombie wall. So you can see we're at Man's Chinese. Check it out. There's actually a pretty interesting uh, like $5 store around here I want to go check out. Well, this is probably the worst place to go into if you don't want people to bump into you, but there's not many people here and I know that tourists love this $5 shop. Let's do a quick look around. $5 sunglasses. $5 hats. Hey, maybe these are $5 hoodies. Oh my God, they're paper thin. You want a water bottle? that weed water bottle. Oh yeah, I'm sure this is a good quality perfume. Okay guys, so part of my day today is I'm shooting this video for the Makuta 10 Plus and Sarah's gonna be the first one to ride it because I'm not gonna ride it for a while. So, all righty, let's get her on it. Here. Okay. Okay, so don't right, fucking fall, baby. Oh. Go ahead. This is actually slightly nerve wracking waiting for Sarah to return. I mean, I doubt she's gonna crash. What do you think? Pretty cool. Now's the time of day where we ain't doing shit. Pitbull, not even awake. Max, say hello to your fans. And look at this guy getting sun. He's the best. Getting sun. He's the best baby boy. My favorite. Hungry oh, big boy. What a good boy. Hey, calm down. Calm down. Max likes to sit on me. You want to sit on me? Oh, sit on me. Max, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you ready for some food? Are you ready for some food? Oh my god, the big one. Guys, so I put a little bit of raw food in Max's bowl, a little bit of raw food in the bigger Pitbull's bowl, but the little guy only eats raw food. It's a part of his epilepsy treatment. You ready for your raw food, buddy? My first Max. Put her in the crate. This guy loves his fucking food. All right, so that's beef, carrots, peas, sweet peas, mushrooms. Come on, Max, let's go. Okay, guys, so it's dinner time. Uh, you know, I had McDonald's for breakfast. I'm gonna have Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner. We're cheating all day. This is my good friend, Brian. I've known for many years. I'm buying him dinner because he's the guy who picked me up from the hospital. <laughs> so you gotta buy this guy dinner, right? So already guys, Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner. Let's fucking binge. Because it was uh, part of Russia, you know, for a long time. Oh, I knew you were coming. I just set up the camera. You want to say hello? There we go. What's going on? Hey, what's your name, man? I'm Steven. That's my name too. Good name. No way. You don't PH? No. Fuck you. Are you serious? I swear to God. Oh, this is God. happening on camera. And you're definitely Jewish, right? For sure. Oh yeah. Steven, I love you, man. Yeah. You're fucking awesome. I love you too. But, um, this is great. We, this yeah, is, this is uh, not staged, everyone. This is really happening. If you're bored, Electric Scooter Academy. Electric uh, Scooter Academy. I drive big, fast scooters all over the city. Oh, yeah. I just broke my fucking collarbone doing oh, that's it. That's what you're coming so from. I'm down. I mean, I got my cast right here, but yeah. Steven, I'll never forget your name. I'll again. never forget it, obviously. Right, bro. Every well, time I you. see you, I'm going to be like, that guy's got a great name. Thank yeah, you. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Steve. Let here. me know if you need here. anything else, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah, only my grandfather was Jewish. Yeah, I know you're part Jew. I'm sorry to hear it. 